posted all the things that he did. I am Ava Martinez and I'm 14 years old. I like to color in the coloring books and Sudoku and then I like to run. I do 4x1, 4x2 and long jump. I broke the 4x1 and 4x2 record when I was in 7th grade and I just broke the long jump record last year. Auditory processing disorder is when you don't understand all the things that people are telling you. When people are talking to me, it I understand them and I am listening, but I don't understand all the words, and I try to guess what the words are. I am Carlos Martinez, and I am the father of Ava Martinez. I'm Steph Martinez, and I'm the mom. We always knew there was something um, different with the way she was learning at a young age. We went to numerous doctors to try to find out what was happening, um, how to best help her, and only because she was very quiet. She never said her first word until she was three. Yeah, she didn't mumble or, or really anything, so we were really concerned at the beginning that she was uh, deaf, so most of the doctors that we talked to had us perform, take her to specialists and the Cleveland Clinic and some major other places to get her hearing checked. And um, We never thought she was deaf because she obviously understood everything we were saying and when we told her no, she listened and she always was very good about being obedient, but but um, she wasn't talking. 5% um, of kids um, are affected from it. It's not really something that you just get, you are born with it. You can't be tested until you're seven um, or eight, really. Seven is, is still early. And that was for her in first grade. And we noticed, I mean, she definitely had issues um, in the classroom all day long. So as parents, we wanted to try to figure out how to best help her. And then um, she was diagnosed and the more we've researched, we found out, you know, it's hereditary. This is something that she's had. It's not something she can get rid of. But we wanted to give her the tools and equipment to be able to function, I guess. I didn't really know what auditory processing disorder really was when I was younger, but now I have a more understanding of it. and. It helped me like through the years that the teachers are doing different things. Like if I need help, I used to put an eraser on the corner of the desk so I don't have to like raise my hand if she's in a lesson. She can just realize it and come to me when she has a chance. She works so hard and she works hard with her schoolwork. She does hours of homework. She, she's always just been very dedicated on making sure to learn all of the stuff that she needs to learn. And her big goal was to give her an education, but also put her in a situation where she could be a kid. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a struggle for her when she was younger. We used to have to tell her, you don't have to spend hours doing homework. Go out and play, go, be, go ha hang out with your sisters, go do, uh, fun things and when she got to junior high uh, she fell in love with doing uh, uh, some sports and that's really helped her develop as a person as well. It's something that she will struggle with the rest of her life and the tools that she's learning now have been unbelievable. It, given her um, ways and strategies to overcome certain situations and um, of course you'll always have it but the stuff that she has learned to do to adapt is amazing. We're so just proud of her, the things that she's accomplished so far. Um, you know, it's called a, a disability or or, uh, or something like that, but she, uh, it's a strength of hers. It's, it's actually become a strength. We always uh, look at her, marvel at all the stuff that she accomplishes, so it's been a lot of fun. We don't see it as a disability. We see it as a strength, absolutely. It's something. <laughs>
fuck it. <laughs> Stop! You can't cry and expect me not to cry. I'm not crying. No, it's your sister. She's always um, wanted to help other people. That's, again, that's how Ava is. She wanted, she started when she was 11, coming up to us and saying she really wanted to do something to help other kids so that she doesn't have to, so they don't have to feel this frustration and and she wants to make it easier for them in school. I have a non-puppet called How We Heal and I want to raise enough to m money to get iPads and to um, get help people with auditory processing disorder to go to college and um, thinking about getting them FM systems, what I use at school. So we started filling out lots of forms and um, before that, she just decided, I'm just gonna start doing stuff on my own. She ended up selling, I don't even remember how many bracelets, but she made $200 on her own selling 25 cent bracelets and just kept selling them. We've done candy bars, we've done different things. But when we finally got approved for the foundation, she was able to have her first fundraiser, which we did last month. When I was um, in sixth grade, I started making bracelets, so I sold it like to random people at my mom's work or like, at school and that stuff. So then it went to candy bars, and I did candy bars to people at my mom's work or at the school. And then I did the fundraiser, the big fundraiser, and now. And in the future, I want to do more fundraisers like every year to um, spread the awareness. This was pretty much, I mean, we, we help your, her facilitate certain things, but really this is off of her drive and we're just really trying to help her um, help other people the way she wants to. So when we started, when she started the foundation and we went through the process of uh, really thinking of what what do you want to accomplish by doing this um, the first thing she said was is I want other kids to not have to feel the way I, I, <laughs> I can't do this stuff. instead of taking something that could be you know just an excuse instead she's taken it and, and excelled and made so many strengths out of it teaches everybody to just enjoy life no matter who you are or what you have going on with you. That's what we take away from Ava. That's who she is. She does want to go to college. It's a dream to be able to help other people and she that's that's Ava. She's had that kind of heart, that passion to help others since she was little. She's always done that. I felt like different and out of place and I felt like I was learning stuff but yet I wasn't. I like helping people because I don't want them to feel like how I felt like so I want to make their life easier. <laughs>